Live outside White Hart Lane, an astonishing result here. Tottenham beating Man City, the league leaders 4-1. I wasn't expecting that, were you? No, nope, I wasn't expecting that. A big result for Tottenham. What does that mean for the league? We're going to have to find out from the fans. I think it blows it wide open. Um, Tottenham, the few, a few offside decisions, um, poor decisions from the linesman referee, but I'm sure the Spurs fans won't uh, mind and they're not going to care about it. Let's see what they've got to say. Let's go. Were you expecting that? No, not at all. Um, in terms of the league type race, do you think it blows it wide open? Or do you think City are still there? Not even remotely. Not even remotely. It's only a small blip. Well, it's two. It's two losses in a row. Um, obviously a West yeah, Ham. Yeah, one in midweek. Mm. Fucking great. Oh, Tottenham are. It's worth coming in from Sweden just for the match. <laughs> I flew in this morning for the match, and now I'm going to go and watch England trounce Wales. <laughs> you shit. Rubbish. City's going to win the league. Any thoughts on the game, mate? Any thoughts on the game? Rubbish. Uh, why, why, why did you lose that there? Was it Spurs played better than you, or did you know? Yeah, did you... did, yeah. yeah. Defence, we weren't, we were, we're not the same without Sabo, we're not the same without company. There was no Joe Art, no leadership skills, no think, leader. Do you think it was the spine that lost you the game today? You didn't have that full spine in there? Yeah, definitely. What was your thoughts on the game today? Oh, it was a total surprise, I have to say. <laughs> like, I was expecting that uh, if we got anything, a 0 0 or 1 1. Yeah. Uh, but I was hearing that three of the four goals were offside. Yeah, so uh, yeah, yeah, we see them. The first Man City goal, um, the Spurs goal that uh, went in from Dyer, um, and then Kayla for the free kick. Yeah, well, the rest needs to sort it out. You know, I don't care right now. We, were you expecting awesome. that result? Of course we were. Yeah, <laughs> of course we were. <laughs> Today I was sat in my seat watching the game. Okay, and I've got stewards that are, that are forcing me out the ground for no reason. That's all I'm going to say. Well, the fact you lost 4 1, maybe they were trying to help you out there because it, it was a poor performance. They wasn't helping me out. I was stood watching my players cool down, trying to clap them off, trying to clap, trying to clap them off the pitch. And I've got Shewards running. Harry came back to his scoring best. And who would have thought Eric Lamella mm. would, would have scored a goal? That was just well, it's 30 million um, Tottenham spent on him. It's about time he's produced. Yeah, absolutely. Come on, you uh, Yeah, absolutely. But, you know, it's just what, a, what an amazing uh, result. Brilliant. On the back of uh, Derby loss um, against Arsenal, do you think, were, were you expecting this going into the game? No, I think the predictions were draw at best, squeak a win if we're lucky. But that was just, they just smashed it. Well, what did you think of the performance? Do you think it was a good, good, good result today? Uh, out of 10, 9. Yes. What about Sergio Aguero? You know, still has only scored one goal this season. Is he gonna get any more? Is it? Is it? Is he fit? What's, what's the issue with that? I don't know. It, it was playing good at the beginning also, but then afterwards it was just uh, nowhere. But yeah. Yeah, he's still a good player, of course. He can uh, play balls. Uh. Going into the game, were you expecting that result and that scoreline? We flew all night from New York to see this game because we knew they were gonna win. Well, it was definitely worth um, the, the, the flight and the money <laughs> that it's gonna cost. I know a few fans do it. Worth every penny. Today was the greatest day. Now we're going to see One Direction when they sing best day ever. We know it is. What went wrong, went wrong out there? Because we know obviously City seem to rely heavily on the spine of their team. Um, Hart, Company, Yaya, Silva and um, Aguero. Two were missing. Or oh, sorry, three were missing actually. Do you think that was the main reason why you actually lost to them? Probably. Um, company is always a loss. No Joe Hart as well. Um, uh, Yaya Torre is getting old. Um, so we've, we've got good enough players in there to make a, a game of it and we just didn't and the more worrying thing is some of them look like they didn't care either. Well you've heard it here, Tottenham fans delighted and surprised by the result as, as much as we were. A few offside decisions as we said but the Tottenham fans weren't in any way even worried or even worth about debating because for me and for them they were the better team yeah second half tottenham stepped up the game i mean first off it looked like city were gonna control we we're talking about how the spine that man city had wasn't there yet they were still running the game and then second off you're thinking city needed that spine back because they, they lost a lot but the thing is 50 million on the brian 50 million on sterling yeah. Aguero, Yaya Torre, surely if someone like Silva, Company, Hart is out, they should have enough in their squad to, um, to, to get through. Yeah. No, I, I agree. I think that Man City had enough and they should have won the game. But you know, can't discredit Tottenham. Tottenham, second half were brilliant. They just, they just 
Hitman City with everything that they got. You know, they played a strong team, came out looking like they were going to go score goals, and they did. Well, City fans seem to be very confident still that they can win the league. Um, knowing, depending on what the result, you are. Yeah, bloody right we are. All right. You, you didn't flash us today, really. I don't support Spurs, so it's not oh, we. No, just give you an example. <laughs> First one was offside, wasn't it? One yeah. second, mate. First one was offside. One problem. second, we'll get you in a second. I think you're a good way used to it, good. We'll get you in a second. City fans still think they're going to win the league. Obviously, depending on the results today, they may not end the weekend top of the table. But with the resources they have and the players they have, I can understand why they're confident. They are still trying to regroup after a loss against West Ham in their previous game. But I think with the players they've got, star strikers like Aguero, even if they haven't scored, I think they can still win the league. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, I think uh, they can definitely still win the league. I think you got to give them a chance and, you know, they, they're still in it, they're still in the race. Um, but, you know, it's, it gives a big chance now for Chelsea and Man United Arsenal to try and get to challenge for that title as well now. Well, it's up to the rivals to close the gap. That's it from us, me, Neeks and Ramon. We'll see you next time. <laughs>